I love video games. <laughs> bing bing, wahoo! Politics. I don't think anyone actually likes politics. The reason it exists is because people aren't happy with the world in its current state. In a perfect universe, we wouldn't need politics, and everyone would just be happy with how the world treats them. But this is not a perfect world. And instead, we get to argue for eternity over basic human rights and the distribution of wealth. What I can't stand more than people who make politics their entire personality, though, are people who throw away the notion of it entirely. The phrase, keep politics out of gaming, is one that's been thrown around the last decade. And just thinking about that statement confuses me. It's often argued that all art is political to some degree. And while I hard disagree with that, even games like Sonic have a lot of environmentalist themes to it, which is still considered political for some reason. People will often look past overtly political messages in games, either because they don't want something disagreeing with them, agree with the message already, or because the worm in their brain just decided to take the day off. Fallout, for example, was a series about politics. The most acclaimed game in the franchise is about different ideologies, and their effectiveness on an absolutely screwed world. And even though it does have a very clear political stance, it treats most ideologies with at least a bit of respect. It's brilliant, because someone could have very good reasoning for siding with the hyper-capitalist Mr. House. Meanwhile, I kill him every time. It's just insane how some fans become completely oblivious to the anti-consumerist and nationalist themes of the series. And when you have people quoting Liberty Prime unironically, it's probably time to start planning the funeral of satire. Just imagine seeing a remnant of a hyper-patriotic society that led to the entire world getting nuked, and then agreeing with it. That's almost as stupid as a parody of a faceless evil corporate mascot being turned into a genuine faceless corporate mascot. <laughs> Imagine. Metal Gear fans can also be absolutely insane. I've had first-hand experience of fans of this franchise saying they joined the military because of that series. And I just... Uh, what? People misinterpreting the boss's will in real life is both funny and tragic, but as a previous member of a large Metal Gear Facebook group, before I got banned for posting this, I can sufficiently say that a bunch of people are fucking idiots about this series. What is just hilarious though is the speech at the end of Metal Gear Solid 2 by the Patriots predicting the future, and then every side of the political spectrum agreeing with it, but thinking it agrees with them specifically. Which is what it predicted in the first place! <laughs> Not to sound like a dumb mass centrist, but it's hard not to laugh when this is said. Everyone withdraws into their own small gated community afraid of a larger forum. They stay inside their little ponds, leaking whatever truth suits them into the growing cesspool of society at large. And then everyone goes, Yeah, I know. Unlike me, who is completely open to all ideologies, I just chose the right one. Bravo, Kojima. You predicted the future so well, people agree with it while being part of the problem they agree with. Aside from that, Metal Gear games are also just completely anti-war, but they're not the only series to criticise the brutality of it. Spec Ops The Line is an average at best third-person shooter, but it's still talked about to this day, because of how it completely defies its marketing and target audience to show the absolute horror horrors of war. It's essentially the anti-Call of Duty, where you still get to commit war crimes, but instead of it being a tool for military recruitment, it does the exact opposite and shows you the horrible reality of the US military. All the games I've talked about so far can be considered left-wing to some degree, but what about the other side? Well, for one, any Medal of Honor, Call of Duty, private military company game can be considered part of the military entertainment complex, which is a pretty damn right-wing industry. But what else? I mean, any real-time strategy or town builder takes my pretty liberal-minded brain and turns it into Capitalist Machine 5000. I gotta make the most money and take over anything I can with no remorse. Why would I ever want to pay taxes? That's my money. Putting you in the right situation with the right mechanics can make you understand an ideology somewhat, even if you disagree with it. Bresseteer has the same effect. Managing your own small business and driving out the competition with better prices and less ethical resourcing has never been so fun. Uh, I don't have a good segue to the end of this video, so here's this. Boss, you killed a child. Amazing. Mission complete. 
That right there is why you're the best. So what's the point of this video? Basically, I just wanted to say that while not all games are political in nature, denying that they exist in games, or saying that it's new for games to have politics in, makes you sound like a dumbass little bitch. If you can't handle political themes different to yours in media, or just want to throw a tantrum any time a gay or trans person is shown in a game, then have fun playing Donkey Kong 64 for the rest of your life, I guess. The rest of us will do just fine without the moaning. All that being said, I am totally politicsed out for today. I think I'm just gonna go play Zelda for a bit. I'm replaying Majora's Mask at the moment, and I'm at the bit where the mayor is debating whether or not to shut down Clock Town to prevent people from dying, or to keep acting like nothing is happening- OH FOR fu What are your thoughts on this video? I think this one's gonna be a bit more divisive than the rest, just because of the subject matter, but it'll be interesting to see what people have to say. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share the video if you enjoyed it, and if you want to see me be a professional hater, follow me on Twitter. This was a bit of a shorter one while I work on my next big analysis video, so I look forward to seeing you then. Take care, and I'll see you later. Bye!